Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been asking everybody what you would like me to do next and most people said a YouTube tutorial on a makeup look. So that is what I'm going to show you. So I've got Sophie here with me today and I'm just going to get started. Um, I'm going to go in with the wing liner. Um, it's a 317 brush by Zoeva. I just use like any brown powder suiting their uh, eyebrow colour. So I don't use pomade that much because I don't, I feel like it goes on a bit too cakey. But I just like doing this because I feel like it gives you a much more natural look. You can talk by me, so for two minutes. But yeah, I'm just literally getting this just in between the spaces on our brows. And then I'm going to take the excess, tilt it and just push it through the front of our brow because you're not wanting the front of the brow to have as much product. Hopefully when I upload this one I'll be able to edit and stuff so that I can like edit it if I feel like I'm boring. <laughs> How long did it take you for your, from your brush tutorial? Uh, it was just half an hour. <laughs> I didn't edit any out, so... Right, so that is pretty much how I'd like the brown to look. Let me see in here. Yes. Um, I just, I don't like them, like... I don't like too much product in here, and I don't really like too much product on the brow altogether. I just like them looking quite natural. I'm doing this like quite strange so I can't actually like see this side properly but I do not look good today so I'm just trying to do it as best as I can. And then I'm going to push that product up. It's weird when I first started doing makeup, like I would take so long in the brows, but I feel like less is definitely more. See, especially if you're like doing quite a heavy eye look, which I don't think I'm going to do today, but I'm not sure. Um, I feel like less is definitely more with the brows. And Sophie's already got an actually good brow, so you don't need to do too much with them. Thanks. <laughs> right, so. Do you still go in them with concealer? Uh, yeah. Sometimes I'll push the concealer up so that I, they're not like too carved, but I'm going to go in with the Zoeva 144 Soft Concealer Brush. I'm pretty sure like every one would have probably heard of that brush before. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the Full Coverage Matte Foundation um, and NC25 because Sophie's been spray tanned by me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's looking lovely and tanned because I'm going to do like a prom package. But, yeah, we'll get to that. So, I'm just going to... I'm close. So, for this bit, if you're doing a client, it's easier if the client doesn't speak. Um, so, you don't need to be rude, obviously, and say, oh, can you not speak to me right now? But just say, oh, just to carve your eyebrows. I'm just not really going to talk to you. <laughs> So you're not wanting too much product, but I'm just making sure there's something underneath the brows. And then I put on a different concealer for the base. I'm going to try and do this like quite fast so that I don't need to edit too much of it out and close. So if it's not up to my usual way, I'm very sorry.
and I'm going to go in with the MAC 25, NC25 concealer now, um, the Pro Longwear one. I'm going to get Sophie to close and I'm going to tell her to keep close now so that um, it doesn't trans, no not transfer, sorry, so that it doesn't crease. Because if she would to open to her, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, um, if she was to open her eyes then you would be able to see it creasing. And just get closed. I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to get these edges softened. And I'm just going to pat that all over the lid just so that there's not too much excess. Just small circular motions. And see for the front of the brow, I like doing this, pushing it and just fluffing that up. And at the end, I'll stroke that through with a brow gel, just so that it doesn't look as defined and it still looks like her natural brow. So I'll just do that where I think she needs it. And that's one eye face done. I feel like I'm more nervous doing this than what I was doing my hair one. Just because obviously usually like I'll like be able to go all different angles and things like that but I feel like I'm quite limited because the camera's there. And I literally like there's a part of her face I cannot see. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just wing it. So again, I'm just making sure everything's buffed out and see where she's got a few little blemishes. I'm just going to take the extra, the excess concealer and literally just go over them. Just so that when it comes to doing foundation, I don't need to worry about that. And then I'm going to do that again, push it up through our brow there. And then obviously like at the front you might be able to see that there's some concealer but I'm just going to fix that at the end. Um, now I'm going to go in with, oh what brush to use, a uh, Zoeva eye blender brush, it's a 225 brush, um, I'm going to go in with Dark tan, mineralised skin finish, oh, it's always such a struggle to get that out. Um, it's a bronzer, so it looks like that. Um, That's what I use. Like <laughs> so I'm just going to start here. Now I'm going to like be going in small circular motions, but I'm kind of like just making sure the product's actually like sitting on the lid. Sophie does have like quite hooded eyes, so you're like limited to a certain extent, so like I'm not going to give her like a full cut crease, but that's not really the look that I would be going for anyway. So that just gives her like such a beautiful colour, like straight off, straight away. I don't know if I'll watch this back and just think, oh, I'll just edit, like get to be mute. <laughs> Again, sorry if this side isn't as good because I can't really see you. I feel like I've said M um, like a hundred times. And I would say like. Right, so we're kind of diffusing that as we go. We're not diffusing it too much. We're not buffing it out too much because I don't want, I'm not really looking for that right now. We're just making sure that she's got a little bit of colour on there and open. So this is the stage where your client or whoever's makeup you're doing can open their eyes and it's fine. It's not going to crease and close. So I'm just going to go in with this fluffy brush and make sure the edges are a little bit 
bit more diffused. This is a Zoeva 228 Lux crease brush and the same with the other side, I can't see. And just for time, I'm not going to like give you a proper detailed eye look. I'm just going to go in with, this is one of my favourite things. It's a Barry M loose pigment. It's number 44, but it's absolutely stunning on the eye. Now you could go in with like an NYX glitter glue, but I'm just going to whack this on because I'm want it, wanting it to look quite grungy. I'm not wanting it to look too precise. Okay. So this is like a massive fluffy brush. This is like taking up her full eye, which I do like. Anything? In close? So as you can see, that just like catches the light absolutely stunning. I'm going to do the other eye now. Sorry if the camera's shaking because I feel like when I like move the camera is going to shake. Anything? Right, so we've got that there. I'm going to put on some liner. I'm literally only doing this for the last strip. So I'm going to go in with a matte Maybelline liner and I'm literally just getting the lash line here. Like, if I was actually doing proper liner, I'd go in with a gel, but this is something purely just so that the lashes can fit in a little bit better. Sophie doesn't have, like, really shaky eyes, which is perfect. Does a lot of people do? Yeah. And just keep close so they can dry. Um, so that is pretty much where I'm at at the eye look. I'm going to go in with uh, the Lash Sensational Maybelline Mascara, which I absolutely love. It's weird. I usually don't take an interest in which mascaras are good or not, but this is actually amazing. Um, I'm just going to go in with the actual barrel so I can get good amount of product on there. I'll just wash that before I put it back in. Don't worry if you get anything like underneath, like you can clean all that away. Right, and just keep closed. Um, two wee seconds, I need to actually go run and get lashes. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pair in there that had pre cut, so I'm just going in with the uh, Eyewear Lash Glue, and these lashes are Envy by Prima Lash, they are my all time favourite lashes. And what I do is, I always trim lashes. So I've trimmed them and the bit at the end that I trim off, I just like like apply into the lash, like wherever I want it to look a little bit thicker. Just so you're not wasting any of the lash. Let that set for a wee second. Let's see how much time we're on. 14 minutes. That's not that bad. So if I can I get everything else done in like 15 minutes, that'd be ideal. <laughs> right. Open your eyes. And close. How long do you usually take doing clients? Um, like 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. It just depends. So like my first client, like I'll always take an hour 
on my first clients usually. Because mm -hmm. I'm not like in this full swing of things yet. So I would usually trim those lashes, I think, one more bit off, but we're just going to wing it. <laughs> I'm going to use the shade NC35 on Sophie, I think. So that looks like quite a good colour match. This is my Studio Fix. Um, and I'm going to go in with... I actually just used the 144 Soft Concealer Brush again from Zoeva. Um, but I'll apply that on her forehead. And then I just do this. Get a beauty blender. This is beautiful and new and it's damp. It's perfect. And then I'll just make sure all the product is pushed up to the hairline. Just try and make sure you're not actually getting the inner hair. Don't worry if you get any in the eyebrows. Because that's why I think I prefer using um, a powder. Because... I feel like if you get anything in it, it's easier to just powder it back in. But if you get anything in the pomade brows, it's just, oh, just ends up looking quite cakey. I'm going to go in with the NC25 and just lighten it up a bit here. So again, I'm probably going to get better at this YouTube thing. Sorry if this video isn't fab. And obviously I can't, there's a side of her that I can't really get to or see, but I'll just get that at the end if I feel like it's not looking perfect. Oh, loads of hair. There we go. Um, I'm just going to go back in with some shadow. Sometimes you just need to get the brush and literally just give it a little swipe through. This is pure random that I'm doing this video, like I hadn't planned this. I was just planning on getting Sophie in because I'd gave her a spray tan and I'm going to do her hair after this. Um, I might film that, I might not. Um, probably not. <laughs> but I'm just going to push it through. Yeah, so I just thought, oh, well most people did ask for a makeup tutorial so I may as well give the people what they want. <laughs> I'm just going to get some brow gel and brush that through the brows. This is just, I can, eh, this is a, what's it called? Collection 2000, I think. I'll check in two wee seconds. But yeah. Sorry if this camera keeps moving and open your eyes. It's okay, sometimes it sticks with mm -hmm. And you just gently do that so that it's not sticking. Look at me, do they feel okay? Uh-huh. Perfect. And then I'm going to go in with the NC35 concealer again. No, NC25, sorry, the Pro Longwear one from Luca. So I'm not wanting Sophie to look as if she's got, um, like I don't want her to look as if she's got a mask on. I'm wanting everything to look quite natural, quite glowy. That's why I'm not going in with a really light concealer. Um, I'm just going to... Just get a little lash there. Hmm. And look like that. So that just brightens things up. Sometimes you can just do that. So there's a lot more that I would usually do if I'm doing look up if I'm doing a client, but see just for time's sake for the YouTube video, I'm just trying to get everything done quite fast. But yeah, I would usually take more time in certain things, certain areas. I feel like I could probably do like a full glam look in like 20 minutes if I really rushed my face. Just taking some of 
on the excess, on the nose, on the chin, and back on the forehead. And now I'm going to go in with just like a flat brush and I'm going to take, well, what am I going to do? <laughs> right, I think I'll take some of what I put on her lids underneath for her. So this is where I tell my client, just blink whenever you have to so that your eyes don't water. So I'm not bringing it too much down. I'm not wanting her to have too much under the eye. I think that looks okay. So we're just getting those marks away. Now I'm going to go in with the NC35 MAC Shadow Fix Foundation, which I apply to her forehead. These are just the steps that I like doing. Um, this is just what works for me. So I'm pushing it down her face because that's where her hair falls. It's falling down. So I get quite a lot of product on here and then I'll get it all over and then I'm just dabbing a lot of the excess off with the Beauty Blender. I'll do another tutorial, like maybe a longer one once I know how to actually edit it and I'll talk a lot about skincare. Um, I'll talk a lot about like cleaning your brushes and things like that but for now I don't really have a clue how to do things like that, so. And I'm just taking that down her neck, but that's like the perfect colour for her. I'm just making sure she's not looking cakey, which she isn't. That's bad. I'm just going to take it down her face on this side as well. So sometimes it looks as if I'm applying quite a lot of foundation, but I, there's literally, like, the sponge is going to absorb so much. So makeup's all about layering, but you need to know how to layer it properly. And I'm just going to make sure she doesn't have a line. Bring it down her neck. Turn face forward. A bit for her nose, and I'm gonna go in next with a contour stick. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution contour stick in F12. So this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to get some of that on the Beauty Blender. And then I'm literally just going to dab that. So the reason I put it on the Beauty Blender is because I feel like putting it on a brush and buffing it out sometimes makes it look too cakey. So I feel like this gives a much more flawless look. So as you can see, it's not like a ma like major, major colour difference, but that's what I'm wanting. I'm not wanting a colour difference too much. I'm going to put a little bit in her forehead. She's got quite a small forehead, so I don't need to put too much definition there. That's where the booty goes. <laughs> And now I'm going to go in with the Inglot 15B F, no, GIF brush with some mineralised skin finish medium tan. I don't like my clients looking like, I don't like the big contrast like for the contour and stuff. So 
I'm just going to apply that just so that it's setting the cream. So I'm going for a super dewy look today, um, so I'm not going to be setting the face and she doesn't have like really bad under eyes so I don't need to like do much there either. So I'm like skipping a lot of things that I would usually do just so that you can get like my favourite parts about a makeup in like half an hour. So just make sure that bit's setted. And now I'm going to go in with a little NYX blush. Um, it's like BBLOA Ignite slash Passion. This is what it looks like, but I think it's super cute. And this is just an ego brush, I think. But I'm just going to apply this. Just like so. And just, I feel like the, with this, I just feel like it gives it a bit of life. Um, let's see if the camera's making sure it does that too. <laughs> but I just feel like it's making her look alive. And apply a little bit to the forehead. So I'm really hoping this turns out okay and then we can put it on YouTube, but maybe not. <laughs> right, close. So I'm going to go in with a Prep Fix Glow. Um, this is the Make Obsession. You can get this from Boots. I'm going to apply this a generous amount. And this is just to kind of like make her skin have a bit more like moisture. Um, then I'm going to, I'm going to go on to highlight soon, but I'm going to make sure that's dried in first. I'm going to um, go on with the Doll Beauty. And it's, I think this one's Shine Like a Diamond with the, uh, Zoeva so Lux Powder Fusion Brush 134. And I'm just going to put a little bit here. So, like, I like applying this to the nose and the cupid's bow, and sometimes a little bit in the chin. But when it comes to the cheeks, I like applying the. Stacey Marie Be Perfect palette, um, the carnival one, the two highlighters mixed there and I like just applying it like so. Hopefully that's looking good. And I'm just going to like puff that in. Let's see how it's looking. Yeah, that's looking good. <laughs> I'm pure scared for some reason doing this because obviously this is my job. Like, there's going to be a lot more people judging it. Um, so I'm going to go in with Mac Spice Lip Liner. Let's check for time. Oh, 28 minutes. That's good. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to go in with Spice Lip Liner and I'm just resting my. I forgot what this finger was called. A pinky. <laughs> I was like, is it a pinky? Is it not a pinky? Right, I'm going to apply the Spice Lip Liner. I feel like I'm going to do it like quite fast just because we've only got like two minutes left to half an hour. But I'd usually actually take a bit of time on the lips. I hate when like I see absolutely gorgeous makeup and then the lips just look horrible because they've either done really badly like I feel like a lot of makeup artists don't understand you need to take like you need to make sure even the last details are perfect and then I'm going to go in with a Morphe brush this is just one I bought with a kit <laughs> <Whoops>. <laughs> sorry this is just one I got with a kit I'm just looking for my favourite lip thing. So this is, I'm just going to get some product on the brush, but this is actually 
this is what I keep it in, a pure dirty like doll beauty thing but it's the medium contour palette Anastasia Beverly Hills, the peach colour in that and then open your lips and I'm just going to put that on like so. And then I'm going to go back in with the Spice Lip Liner. I'd usually go in with a little bit of Cappuccino by Rimmel now, but I can't find it. So I'm just going to work with what I can find. I really hope this looks good enough to get in the YouTube. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to go in with some mascara and I'm going to get Sophie to look right up like so that looks so good wow, I'm pure buzz and I really hope this like makes the YouTube because <laughs> I was I was pure hesitant to do something like this because I don't want everybody judging like how I do things but everybody does things different and I just thought I'd do like a really fast look oh 31 minutes <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see she looks stunning so Buzzing. I'm just gonna show you the finished look But as you can see, she's got hooded eyes, but I just feel like that pigment works like so well, whether you've got hooded eyes, whether you don't. And that's why I don't apply any of the glitter glue, because I feel like sometimes it makes too much of a crease. But I'll take these little pins out now. Just going to go in I'm sure you what it should look like now. And look down. Voila. Oh, I'm dead excited. <laughs> right, so that's me going off, guys. I hope you've enjoyed my first YouTube tutorial on how to do a makeup. But thanks, bye.